Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to spot for all things gaming. Today we're tackling a topic that's sure to stir up some debate should the next Halo game be single player only? Yep, you heard that right. We're diving into why a single player only Halo game might just be the franchise's best bet for branching out and reclaiming its former glory. So let's talk about Halo. For years, it's been one of the biggest names in gaming, known for its epic single-player campaigns and its intense multiplayer battles. But if you've been following the series lately, you'll know that things have been a bit rocky. Halo Infinite, for example, had a decent campaign, but it felt like it took a backseat to the multiplayer mode. And that's a trend we've been seeing for a while now multiplayer getting all the love, while single-player content seems to be an afterthought. But here's the thing, Halo's story is legendary. The original trilogy, Halo, Reach, and even Odds, all of these games delivered unforgettable single-player experiences. They weren't just tacked on tutorials for multiplayer, they were full-blown adventures with deep lore, emotional moments, and epic battles that we still talk about today. So, what if the next Halo game focused solely on delivering that kind of experience again? Imagine a Halo game where the entire budget, the entire focus is on crafting an incredible single-player campaign. No need to balance weapons or abilities for PvP, no distractions, just a pure, story-driven experience. With that kind of freedom, 343 industries could create new weapons, vehicles and gadgets that would never work in multiplayer but could make for some truly unforgettable moments in the campaign. And let's not forget, the gaming industry is full of examples showing that single-player games can still be hugely successful. Just look at Sony's lineup with titles like God of War, The Last of Us, and Horizon Zero Dawn. These games prove that there's still a massive audience out there for high-quality, story-driven experiences. And Halo could be the next big hit in that space. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking Halo without multiplayer, that's crazy, but hear me out, multiplayer isn't going anywhere. In fact, 343 could keep supporting Halo Infinite's multiplayer or even develop a separate multiplayer-focused game. But by creating a standalone, single-player-only Halo game, they'd be giving fans the kind of deep, immersive story experience that the series was originally known for. And let's be real, Halo needs to win back some fans. The last few entries have been hit or miss, and a lot of players are starting to lose faith in the series. A bold move like this could be just what Halo needs to get back on top and remind everyone why it's one of the greatest franchises in gaming history. So, what do you think? Is it time for Halo to go single-player only, or should the series stick to its multiplayer roots? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get this discussion going. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more gaming news and debates. Until next time, keep gaming and we'll see you in the next video.